Hey guys, welcome to Bird Dog Gaming. This is going to be the first video from this channel, and today we're going to talk about something that I think is a little bit fuzzy in the gaming community, and that is rare versus expensive. Do the two words actually mean the same thing? Are they interchangeable? We're going to dive into that today, and I'm going to show you three games. One that I think is rare and expensive, one that I think is rare but not expensive, and then one that is expensive but not rare. So let's dive right in. So let's start off with some definitions. The dictionary definition of rare is not found in large numbers and consequently of interest or value. On the other hand, expensive just means that it costs a lot of money. So what does expensive mean in this conversation? We're going to say any game that has held its value over time or increased is going to be considered expensive. So a Game Boy Color game came out for around $30 at retail in the late 90s, early 2000s. So any Game Boy Color game that's still going to run you $40 or $50 is going to be considered expensive for this conversation. For a Super Nintendo game or a Nintendo 64 game, they came out for about $50 at retail. So what we're going to use for expensive in this conversation in regards to those games is $50, $60, $70 dollars or more. So with the next three examples, we're going to see why these two words are not interchangeable. So let's start by talking about a game that is both rare and expensive. This particular game cost three to four hundred dollars at today's going rates. Came out on May 15th, 1998. A game that many people would say isn't very good at all. What am I talking about? Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut for the Nintendo 64. Now keep in mind, the last game to be released on the Nintendo 64 was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 all the way in 2002. So if it wasn't a late release that caused this game to be so expensive, what was it? Well, a lot of people have heard the story that this game was a blockbuster rental exclusive, meaning that no one could purchase the game when it came out. Sculptor's Cut was a, you could say, a DLC version of Play Fighters that was also on the Nintendo 64. It wasn't until the end of the Nintendo 64's life cycle that people could actually get their hands on the game. And even then, it's said that Blockbuster Video employees were supposed to destroy the game rather than sell it. It's estimated that there are less than 20,000 copies of the game remaining, making it one of the rarest games on the Nintendo 64. So let's dive into a game that is expensive but not necessarily rare. I have Earthbound here for the Super Nintendo, otherwise known as Mother 2. This game was the only one in the series to be localized for the West and has since been given a cult following. It was released on August 27, 1994 here in North America and not a whole lot of people were stoked about the game. You hear people call this game rare all the time, but is it? It had 150,000 copies sold and compared to the last game we talked about, which was Sculptor's Cut, sold about 20,000 copies. Sculptor's Cut is rare. Earthbound is considered uncommon at most. Earthbound was already expensive when it released just due to the fact that it came with a guide. So the retail value of Earthbound as compared to other $50 Super Nintendo games was somewhere between $60 and $80. I couldn't really find the exact number online. I would say that it is definitely uncommon. You're going to find a copy of this game on eBay at any given time. It's not rare. Sculptor's Cut, you know, you might find one or two at a given time on eBay, but on Earthbound, you're going to find this game all over eBay, all over the internet. I was actually lucky enough to find my copy for 5 or $10 at an estate sale last year. RGT85 made a great video on this game, and I'm going to link his video in the description below. Now, let's get into our last example for this video. I have a game here called Rayman 2 for the Game Boy Color. Now a lot of people have heard of Rayman 2. It's a game, it's a freaking awesome game that was on the Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, PlayStation, DS, 3DS, PlayStation 2, everything you can think of. But the Game Boy Color version? Nobody ever talks about that game. Now, I'm not here to tell you that this cartridge loose is worth anything. I'm not going to say that this cartridge is hard to find, but at the making of this video, there are only four cartridges on eBay. There are no complete in-box versions of this game listed on eBay. On top of that, price charting has this game listed for $14 complete in-box. 
a measly $14. So not everything that is expensive is rare, and not everything that is rare is expensive. I found this copy complete in box at a bookstore on sale. Before that, I had actually never seen a complete in box version of this game. So that's all the time we have for today's video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, give it a comment, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot more content just like this. And I'll see you guys next time.